Hello. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Mr. Saki, you are charged with disorderly conduct. Yes, sir. I notice, sir, you are not from Rhode Island? That's correct, sir. All right. Do you work here? Um, I was hired to DJ at Lupo's for a night. Okay. First of all, I can tell you that you are not in jeopardy of going to jail. I'm not, I read the report, and I'm going to read the report so that you will understand what the police allege happened, and then you can tell me if you want to. But I'm going to tell you what the police say, okay? Okay. The police were on detail at about 2 o'clock in the morning at Lupo's nightclub, and a Joseph Stocky was kicked out of the nightclub for attempting to fight a bouncer. Once he removed from the nightclub, he became increasingly aggressive toward police. He was ordered to leave the area several times, at which time he replied, <laughs> Mr. Saki began screaming and threatening police as well as nightclub employees. He raised his voice several times in an attempt to gather a crowd. Police ordered Saki to vacate the area once again, at which time he screamed, At this time, he was placed in custody, charged with disorderly conduct. Now, is there anything you want to say about that? You um, understand you have the right against self-incrimination. You don't have to say anything. You understand? No, I'd like to say something on my behalf. All right, now speak loudly and slowly so I hear you. Okay, so I was DJing at Lupo's. I drove eight hours to DJ, and it was last call. So I went to the bar, and I tried to get two females a drink that I was there with. And the bartender told me, no, it's last call. I'm not, like, serving any more drinks. So I walked to the other side of the club, because there was two bars in the club. And um, I asked that bartender for drinks, and he said, sure. But the other bartender came over to the other side of the bar, and he said, no, I already told this kid he can't have any drinks. So I was like, what's the problem? And he was like, get him out of here. And they throw me out. And then I tried to get back into the establishment so I could talk to the promoter so I could get paid for my DJ services but everyone wanted me off the property and then I did have an infantile reaction to the situation. Oh, you were the DJ? Yes. Huh. Did you ever get paid? No. To this day you still haven't been paid? No. Huh. How many drinks did you have that night? Um, I was a little tipsy, for sure, and that played a role. I knew that as soon as I read the report. We have what we call alcoholic muscles down here. Yes. I read the report. I looked at you, and I read the report, and it said that Mr. Stocky wanted to fight one of the bouncers. It's been my experience. The bouncers are always, you know, they're over six feet. They have, they're muscular, right? And you wanted to fight the bouncer. I'm it not didn't sure. Go well. If you got a good left hook, I'm not sure, right? But I don't think that was a good idea. No. What do you think, Inspector Quinn? It was not a good idea. <laughs> was the bouncer bigger than Inspector Quinn? About the same size. Yeah. You, you think oh. you can take him? Well, who not knows, Judge? Judge, <laughs> Judge, now who knows? I don't know that. He's not sure whether he can take you, Inspector Quinn. I'm not sure either, Judge. No? Willing to give it a try, but I'm not sure. No, I don't suggest that. I'll opt out of that. I learned my lesson last time. <laughs> Inspector Quinn, you must have a recommendation on this matter. I do, Your Honor. I, uh, based on uh, no previous history with police, the one charge he did have was uh, dismissed with president. Uh, the city will offer a six-month filing with a $35 court cost on a NOLO plea, or uh, naturally he can come back for trial. Inspector Quinn, I, I would say that 99% of the time that I... Uh, I accept your recommendation, and, I, and usually we're on the same wavelength, but I think given the circumstances of this case, he was working there. He didn't threaten anybody. He, he, he was, nobody was placed in any danger. He was all verbal. He just ran his mouth. He had a few drinks, and he ran his mouth. And while words alone don't constitute an assault, they don't constitute an offense, was, even though words may be offensive, they really don't constitute an offense. So he didn't get paid. He got banged around. He spent the night in jail. I think he'd been punished enough. Thank you, Your Honor.